So back in November 2021, so 18 months ago, I interviewed Claire and Nikki from Fresh Pay. And today I have Jenny, also from Fresh Pay. So these are three accountants that have built their own software for payroll. And Jenny's come back to tell me all about how the journey's been, what they've been up to, how the product's going, and some top tips for accountants as well. So if you do payroll, if you don't do payroll, why don't you listen in and hear all about Jenny and her team and why they decided to build their own software package. We are live and I've got the lovely Jenny with me today. Hi Jenny, how are you? Hi, I'm good, thank you Ashley. How are you? Oh, absolutely wonderful. Great to see you. Now, thank you very much for having me. We were we were having a little chat beforehand and you absolutely blew me away. I didn't think, first of all, I didn't think I've been doing this as long as I have. But Nicola and Claire came on the show uh, just before Fresh Pay launched, Fresh Pay launched, and I sort of like thought it was a little while ago, but no, it was November, no. November the seventeenth, twenty twenty one. Yep, that's yep. crackers. Only feels like a few a few weeks ago, doesn't it? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Yep. So so tell everybody who you are and why you're here then. Uh, I am Jenny. Um, I uh, run uh, both a, an accountancy practice, Redfish Accountancy, and uh, also co-founder of Fresh Pay, cloud payroll software. Fantastic. That's what I'm doing Fantastic. here. Redfish. Where did yeah. where did that name come from? I love that. <laughs> um, I had a horse. One of my horses at the time was called Red, and uh, I had a nickname that was fish related. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so okay. Uh, we pumped for Redfish Accountancy. I didn't want uh, a name that was, you know, Jay Gillum Accountancy because everybody just, yeah. does that everybody one, Jenny. Does it. Yeah. And when you go to sell, you've got, you know, your name. You've got to be there. You've got to sell your name. <laughs> so is that is that the ultimate goal to sell Redfish? Oh, I, maybe management buyout more more likely. Right. Okay. Probably. Yeah. I've got a really great team and. They'll they'll take it over when I retire. Fantastic, fantastic. But meanwhile, you've set up a software company. <laughs> <laughs> Why did we do that? <laughs> well, this, well, look, we've got fifty minutes to talk about, so we're gonna we're gonna explore that. Just want to say hello to Pavel, who's just come on this morning. Pa pa Pavel is a software developer, so he's oh. got a software company and all that sort of malarkey. So yeah, he he does that, and uh, you know, he he wakes up and gets excited about doing that. But why would an accountant? set up a software company jenny uh well um our story was nikki claire and i we all work we'll do payroll um i do it in-house claire runs a payroll and bookkeeping bureau and nikki used to outsource her payroll but we couldn't find the right cloud payroll software i mean that that's the story and we got together on an online forum all talking about it and thought yeah let's go and do our own fair enough fair yeah. enough and here we, are, here we are here we are here we are I don't know, 18 months down the line since the last chat. I, 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 I'm sorry, I can't, I can't believe it was that long ago. So, so what's happened in the last 18 months then? Because I think we were just about to launch or something, weren't we, when we, when yeah. we spoke last time? And it wasn't you, you were at a conference. I, I wasn't good enough to get you last time, but I've got you this time. So, so, so go on, what's happened in the last 18 months? Uh, well, we launched uh, last April, April 2022, but with a really sort of basic product. We had some really fabulous customers come on and do some beta testing for us. Um, and we've added in a load of new development and we've now got a fantastic cloud payroll software still with loads more to do because we're, we're all we want to do is develop and add features and functions all the time. Um, and yeah, we've got... Um, about a hundred bureaus using us now. I think we're running something like two and a half thousand company payrolls every month, which is great. Wow, two and a half yeah. thousand and, and however many people in each company. That's quite yeah. a lot of payrolls you're responsible for. Yeah. That's no <laughs> pressure, is it? No, none at all. <laughs> do, do you know, when when I when I when I was working, um my my, well, my first ever job was was my, I used to work for my uncle. So he used to just sort of like, oh, is it payday? And he'd put his hand in his pocket and get some cash and give me some cash. And then I went up to London and um, I was a chef. And we used to um, go to the canteen on a Friday lunchtime. And this, this, is, this is gospel. And, and we had this little envelope with our name on it and, and all the yeah. tax deductions and what have you. And someone had physically done that in, in the building. 
Yeah. Um, and so a manager, so the payroll lady and a manager came because obviously for security purposes, you got all the staff. Be, and we queued up and got our wage, our wage packet with cash Little in. Little brown envelopes with cash in. And yeah. they, used to have, um, they used to have sort of uh, vans going and delivering all that every, each, each, each week. And uh, yeah, a lot of security around that. Yeah, we're, I think we're a, we're a similar age, Ashley. So I sort of remember I remember those days too. <laughs> yeah, but that, nowadays it just all all goes in. It's and, all automatic. It's all yeah. done on software. You don't have to have the tax tables anymore that you used to. We used to have to have all these different tables. We used to have to go down and cross and go that there and add it all up and deduct it all. And yeah, now we've got the software that does it all for us, and we Fantastic. think it's easy. Good, 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 good. So, and, and this is the thing, right? It's a bit like moving into a house that someone's built or having a house built for you. You know, if, you, if you're having the house of your dreams built for you, the, the, the living room is going to be the perfect size. The kitchen is going to have the perfect aspect and it's all going to be in the right place, isn't it? Yeah. And, I, and I guess that not many people can do that. Some of us can um, maybe buy a house off plan and have some say in the decoration and the bath fittings and the kitchen have, have that set up. But yeah. but pretty much we move into something and we've got to make do. And yeah. this is exactly the same with software. And, and um, you know, I've, I've worked for software companies and, you know, the people have turned around and said, oh, I wish I could do this. Well, you can't because that's not how we've made it. So yeah. you started with a blank slate. How, how much fun was that? Uh, I'm not sure necessarily fun was the right word. <laughs> It's been a, it's been an awful lot of hard work. Um, we've got really great developers, um, but the 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 research that you have to put in, and you know, HMRC don't make anything easy for you. Really? Um, oh, I know. You're surprised Shocker. You there. Shocker, right? <laughs> oh, I, I, sorry. <laughs> I know. Uh, so, yeah. So, I mean, it's been it's been really hard, but what, it's been really fun sort of going. And, and what's been really great, actually, with the three of us, because we all do payroll slightly differently. Um, you know, they they the developers would ask us a question and I'd say, oh, um, no, we don't need that or no, that's irrelevant. And, and Claire would go, no, hang on a minute. I use that. I would need that. And then he could go, well, you know, actually, I would like it to run like this because, you know, obviously she, she needs the collaboration. So it's been fantastic because we've got a really well-rounded product that actually works for all three users plus yeah. obviously the employees as well but you know you have the the, the accountants the payroll bureaus and and the um, the outsourced the outsourced the, the 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 end company as well so um yeah sorry blowing blowing my own trumpet a bit no 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 it, I, I, I think it's been I, the, really this, this useful. Is, what you're doing right is you're building something for you all right your accountants in practice you know what you need because the last one you were using didn't quite do this or that was yeah. a fag or da, 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 da. and now it's like right i've got it exactly how i want it and yeah. so 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 that's superb so can you remember your first customer someone actually paid you can you remember what that felt like oh it was amazing that somebody and because we were when we came on with you um, 18 months ago, we were actually looking for people to pre-order. We didn't have a product they could sell. And the, there were people that put their faith in us and gave us money for a year up front, which was incredible. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, is, yeah that is that because is that because the other software anybody anywhere else is absolutely rubbish? So, you know, that's that's it, the it's thing. It's not absolutely rubbish. That's the thing. Just they didn't nothing out there ticked all the boxes oh right yeah that was, i think so yeah. it was always a compromise every single time it was a compromise you're getting burgled <laughs> someone's <laughs> nicking your coat oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> they can have it <laughs> <laughs> that, that um, works that works on video it's really not going to happen it's not going to work on, on the podcast is it no so, so you, and of course, I'm laughing and thinking Kate can hear this, and of course, she can't. <laughs> no, not at all. She really doesn't know what, why you're laughing. No, no. So, your your software, right? You get it all ready. You put it all out, and then now you've got customers that are sort of like, "Oh, can we do get it to do this?" Are they are they now turning around and asking you for other things? And this is why you yes. got this new new product out and the new features. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we we have ongoing development the whole time, adding features. You know, we we're, we're talking, we listen to everything our customers say and feedback on. We put it on the the roadmap, 
um, you know, we put it sometimes, sometimes, most of the time, to be fair, we've already thought of it and we go, yeah, actually, it, that's, that's, that's on, on the list. So that will be done in the next three months or the next six months or, or whatever. Um, or if it's something really simple, we just add it when we can. Awesome. But yeah, awesome. We're, we're listening. We, you know, we, we aim to be the payroll software that, that you know, the, the, the best payroll software for bureaus in, in the country okay. and then in the rest of the world. Oh, is it, is it something that can scale internationally then? Uh, I think, you know, I think it can do, um, you know, payroll everywhere is a bit of a headache from what we gather when we talk to people in other countries, they're all like, oh, can you, can you develop this for us? Because, you know, we have a headache with our payroll software and yeah, yeah, it, it's everywhere. And is it, is it, oh, hi, Nadia's here. Say, say hello to Nadia. How, how hi, Nadia. Um, with, with payroll, because you go to some accountants, okay, because I've been working with accountants for 16 years now, and some of them do absolutely everything, like Tesco, and then others just do a little bit, like the fruit and veg shop. And and so why why would I do payroll? Is it is it a good thing to get into? Why, why would I do that in my practice? Uh, I think it really depends on on where you want to be in your practice. So if you've got good payroll experience and you're the only person working in it and you've got maybe some simple-ish payrolls, um, you could do it yourself. Or you could, you know, if you get a bit bigger, maybe you've got a few more complex ones. Maybe you have customers that are back and forth quite a lot, which is very common in payroll. Um, you might want to outsource it to a bureau. Um, but it really depends like, because payroll people think, oh, it's easy. You just put the numbers in and then you get, you know, the, 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 the amount out. But it, it's there's an awful lot more to it than that. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I, yeah, I, I, but using great software helps because, you know, it does a lot of it for you. Because I, I used to um, have, have commission based roles. So my payroll was different every single month. And, and yeah. sometimes um, we had um a clawback so then that that would have to you'd, you'd have to take that off um we never we never um ended up earning nothing in a month but, no. but sometimes you, you've got that little cloud hanging over you and th those sorts of things and then i guess uh hospitality is a bit of a pain for you ask your questions about how your tax is calculated and you, you asked the accountant surely jenny <laughs> <laughs> pick up the phone and talk to the red fish yeah, so that's something we're building in. Um, it, one of the one of the features that we're going to be adding is in the employee portal. They'll be able to click on their tax button and see how it's calculated, so they can oh. see why their tax has gone up or down or whatever in the month. So that's something that we're adding, which is going to be fantastic, I think, for all accountants and payroll people because you know it'll take that question away. You know, you get a lot of questions like that. Yeah, sure, <laughs> sure. Well, sure, sure, have sure. I paid more tax this month? Yeah. Uh, well, so um, the other thing is emergency tax. Is, is that still a thing? Yeah, uh, but it's not when, what when, people think it is. When, when you change jobs because they don't know a tax code, they just put you straight onto emergency tax. You're paying loads of tax and then in a few no. months time, it all sorts itself out. But it, it, it's, this, is the, this, is the, this is the urban myth about emergency tax. Emergency tax, you get your normal tax code, but based on a week one, month one basis, tax is calculated cumulatively. Um, emergency tax gives you your normal tax code. So you're at the moment £12,570 a year divided by 12 tax free amount. And then the rest of your tax is based on how much you've earned, obviously, you know, 20%, 40%, 45%. That's emergency tax. People think emergency tax is tax on all of their pay, but it's not. But what does happen if you've got two, if you've got a crossover between two different employments, um, one of them, they will both take your, your tax fee allowance for the month. So actually the following month, you end up, what you've done is you've been undertaxed in that month. And then the following month, you get a, generally get a much whacker, bigger tax bill. But yeah. you, you've already had the, yeah, you've had the tax. You've had already, the benefit. And then yeah. you get it, then you, you just have to pay it back. Basically. That's so why, that's, that's why we get someone tax. else. That's why we get someone <laughs> else to do our payroll. <laughs> are you guys, are you guys at account tax? Oh, we're coming. We're not. We're not um, exhibiting this year. You're, but you're not having all, a stand. We're all coming. No, we're all you're, coming. You're, you're all going to be there. Yeah, we're going to um, come and see you and and, and Natalie and uh, 
payroll sorted. Ah, right. Okay. I was just about to mention that because because obviously I'm I'm working with payroll sorted. So um, I, it's not competition, is it? Because it's a totally different kettle of fish. So so here's a question for you, Jenny. I'm an accountant. All right. I'm running a small practice. Do I get fresh pay and do the payroll myself or do I go to payroll sorted and get them to do it for me? So what, what would be the answer there, Jenny? I, I think the answer would really be what 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 do you want in your practice? What do you want to do? Right. If you've got somebody who's really great at payroll and understands payroll and wants to do it, do it yourself. But if you're very stretched, as we all know, it's really hard to recruit <laughs> people at the moment. And no. if you're really stretched, yeah. <laughs> Have you heard that before, Ashley? <laughs> well, I, was at, I was at a breakfast meeting this morning um, with the local chamber. And it's it's not just accounting. It's it's everywhere. Um, we had the local MP turn up and he was saying what, what, a, what a drag it is down because I'm in the southwest. So it's all hospitality. And it's just a real drag. We've got a couple of huge employers. So there's a, a big distribution center for a supermarket uh, for, for Lidl. And there's also an Amazon store pretty local to where we are. So all the hospitality staff have gone to work there because during COVID, they weren't sure of their jobs. Yeah. And so that's had a, a nightmare effect. So it's not just the accounting industry. And they're industry. not having to deal with the public and, and the abuse they get from the public because they're just in, <laughs> in a warehouse or whatever, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But it's the same, you know, the whole recruit, I think a huge amount of people have dropped out of the jobs market. Mm. And, you know, it's hard to recruit in every profession all over the world as well. Some people yeah. I speak to internationally have the same problems that we have. So, you know, if you're struggling to recruit and you aren't having time to, because payroll needs time, it needs dedication with the questions that you're asked. And, you know, there's always something odd that comes up. Um, then, you know, go ahead and outsource your payroll. I hear some really, really great stories about people that outsource. I always hear good things actually about payroll sorted. Um, but obviously, Claire, um, one of our one of my co-founders, she runs a payroll and bookkeeping bureau, um, bookkeeping and payroll bureau. I got it around the wrong way. Um, so, you know, people she has a lot of accountants that outsource their, their payroll to her as well. Right. OK. okay. Um, so, you know, there's there's enough of work out there for really that's, good payroll that, people. That's the thing. How, in, yeah. how many businesses start every month? It's it's quite astounding, yeah, isn't it? Quite so a lot. so yeah, yeah. That, and, and that's the thing, right? And, and and this is the thing that I love about working um, with accountants and bookkeepers because it's there's no competition, it's all collaboration, isn't it? Yeah. And and, I, yeah. and that, that's the thing that I really love uh, about this space. Um so what challenges are you seeing accountants and bookkeepers having at the moment then, Jenny? Apart from, apart from, apart from recruitment. The, the recruitment, obviously, we've done that one. <laughs> I, I think, I mean, honestly, it's overwhelm of everything. Um, COVID happened um, and most people basically got 80% of their salary for sitting around doing nothing, but not accountants. We had to, um, and I know it was three years ago, but it's still, we still feel effects. We had to learn a huge amount immediately all our customers were asking us, what about the grants? What about grant to get this? What, what's furlough? What's all this about? And it's not stopped. I mean, it certainly hasn't with, with my accountancy business. And there's overwhelm. Um, there's so many choices of software, for example. You know, practice management software, um, reporting software, payroll software. Obviously, we've got the best, but um, you know, there's so <laughs> many choices. And, you know, they're big things that you change to as well because there's a huge learning curve when you take on a new software there's all this learning curve um sorry can you hear that i certainly there's, can there's a bakery van and it, it doesn't usually come till well after one a <laughs> bakery days. van is actually yeah. driven into your office into my office no just outside just outside there was park right outside yeah that, that's crazy <laughs> they're going that's on crazy. really now time. but yeah so i think it's overwhelm as well you know we we've got so many choices and i mean especially something like practice management software it's a huge thing you mm, know mm. not in terms of financial obviously they are financially invest but the time that you have to invest to set it up properly so you go which one do i choose because i don't want to choose the wrong one yeah spend hours setting up and then find that i've got really bad FOMO for another one yeah that, you know and I, I think that I think that's a real thing that, um you know that that we struggle with 
So the top top tip today for content on LinkedIn is which is the best practice management software? Because <laughs> everyone is going to have a different opinion, aren't they? Yeah. And and I yeah. guess this is another plug for for Accantex. Go to Accantex and go and speak. Yeah. To the people that are making and developing that software, go and hang around on those stands and uh, ask those questions, press those buttons, and uh, and and they'll also attract their their customers are going to turn up. So you can chat to those as well. This is why I love Accantex. Um, I spoke to somebody. I spoke to somebody um, re uh, recently, and they didn't even know what a Kentex was, and they're a partner in a firm. No. Yeah. Can you believe wow. that? Wow. Can you believe that? Um, what's the best story you've got of helping an accountant or a bookkeeper, Jenny? Um. So we. I was speaking with Lucy Cohen of Mazuma. I think everyone. Oh, I love speak. Lucy. She's yeah. been on. She's been on. Um, she? Yeah, she's yeah lovely, she, she, isn't she? she? She is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. I, I've known Lucy um, when she was right at the start of Mazuma. So it's yeah. just amazing to watch that grow. So they've been using a cloud payroll software product, and um, they hate it. They get really bad service. And it just doesn't work for them. And I was talking with her and I was like, well, what about fresh pay? Why don't you try fresh pay? Um, and somebody's just come to my door. <laughs> this they, they really don't want you to be live, <laughs> live on a show today, do they? This happened the last time I was live on a webinar. Somebody came to my door and nobody ever comes to the door. And I thought, I must get a sign to go up, do not disturb. Um, Anyway, uh, yes, yeah, so I was talking with Lucy and she was really struggling. Um, and obviously they've got a big, a big um, bureau and she's moved to us and her payroll, her payroll um, manager um, sent us an email with some questions, um, about eight questions and uh, took us a couple of days to go back to her because there were quite a lot, it was quite a lot. And, you know, we had to do a bit of research on some of them. And I went, so I'm really sorry that we've taken so long to get back to you. And these are answers. She said, well, she said, I sent the same list to the company that I use at the moment eight months ago, and I still haven't had a response. Wow. <laughs> wow. So uh, they've moved to us, uh, and, which is fantastic. Um, obviously, that's a, a great and that, thing. And that's the thing, isn't it? In our heads, we're sort of like thinking, oh, we've taken ages. But you got back in <laughs> two days. Two days. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought that was, oh, my God, this is really yeah. slow, you know. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, so um, they now have a, a smooth payroll process with everything that they need. Fantastic. And, 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 and I guess we're not allowed to talk about numbers and stuff like that, but I am guessing they've got quite a few people that they do payroll for. So, yeah, if yeah. it's good enough for Lucy. Yeah. Um, that's yeah. a great That's a great story. That's a great story. So what Thank next you. for Fresh Pay? Well, just attract some more fantastic bureaus and um, keep developing, keep, keep on developing. Yeah, and, and and having that smile. So when you're doing, so do you do you do payroll in your practice at Redfish, or does someone else do it now? Do you, you get um, Claire to do it for you? No, no, no. I we do it in house still. Yeah. No. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I've got a um uh, a person who's in charge, and then somebody who oversees them. Um, because there's eleven of us, so there's wow. Of us. We've got a about a hundred and. 120, 130 clients. So yeah, we'd run. A, I think we run. Uh, we run about 100 payrolls a month. So, yeah, I can't do it myself anymore. No, 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 no. Uh, which well, which, is, why you've, which is why you've got yourself some decent software. Exactly. <laughs> Fantastic. Which means um, one person can run it easily. Yeah, absolutely. And, and this is the thing, isn't it? Is, is, um, we, 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 we've, we've spoken about the um, lack of staff, the difficulty in recruiting. But if we've got decent tools, i.e., in 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 bookkeeping accounting to speak that software yeah then we don't need so many staff and that, that, that you know, it's those sorts of things that make it easier yeah the time saving um uh you know i mean, don't want this to be a big advert for fresh pay but we did a i did a, a, a we've got a little infographic going out actually um we looked at desktop payroll software and there were 14 steps from start to finish to complete a full month of payroll with desktop there were four steps with fresh pay wow um you know just we, we we were like and and it, and it saves it saved us our our biz, our bureau our business so much time moving to cloud payroll software and I think that's one of the things that um, accountants especially don't like paying out on software they 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 don't look at the cost of the so they look at the cost of the software as a yep. cost yeah rather than investment yeah um, somebody a guy from from Ignition 
was talking, I was at a roadshow with him a few years ago. And he said, you need to think of your software as an additional team member. Mm. The cost, the cost of your software is a cost of it. And you think about what we can do now that we couldn't do 20 years ago, um, you know, or 30 years ago. I mean, I, when I first started, we wrote in ledgers and cash books. Yeah. I mean, can you imagine writing up every single entry in a cash book Not now? Not at all. That, How long would that take you? Exactly, exactly. So, you know, we have accounting software for that. Um, but I think that's one of the things that we really, really hate as accountants, spending money at all, I think, um, but especially on software. I think when that's, you turn that's it around in your mind, in your nature, you isn't it? it? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I spend, I, in my business now, I spend a huge amount on software, but I would have to employ another five people mm. if I didn't have that software. Yeah. So I, I, I'm, I'm saving. Yeah. The, best, <laughs> the best analogy, the best analogy, right, is a JCB you know, the big mechanical diggers. Because yep. um, I, don't, I don't know what they would cost, 30, 40, 50, 60 grand. Um, but how quickly could you dig a hole? How many how many people would you need to get with yeah. spades to dig a hole that big that quickly? And yeah. so, you know, it's 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 well worth it. Um, yeah. Pavel's just said he knows an accountant that's um, written some tax, tax software. That's incredible. That's wow. brave. That's brave, isn't it? When really there's, brave, when there's, yeah. When there's, when there's that, when there's that many um, packages out there, um, yeah. That fifteen minutes has just flown by. Oh, is it gone already? <laughs> way gone, way oh. gone. We're nearly, we're oh, nearly, yeah. to, we're nearly to thirty <laughs> minutes. Uh, it's been lovely to catch up and to hear how Fresh Post going. I love a success story, so that's absolutely thank you. superb. And it just shows that if you set your mind to something, you can absolutely do it. So, so thank you for that. Um, I've got one more question for you, mm. but before I ask that question, I'm just going to plug next week's show because I've got Dermot coming back, the Curly Whirly guy. I don't know if you've uh, seen what he's oh, doing with Dermot. his Curly Curly Whirlies. Um, every single month, he um, does a list of the top people doing LinkedIn. So I love love having a chat with Dermot. Um, but also next week, I am on a webinar with the amazing Samantha Mitchum and Francesca Tricorico. So wow. I'm looking forward to that as well. So uh, uh, Bright do uh, software as well, don't they? <laughs> yes. Um, but they they do. So, so they also do practice management. So uh, lots going on in the next few weeks, and we've got account tech. So please come and say hello but Jenny you've been absolutely yeah. delightful today my question for you today okay I ask everybody this one when you were at primary school running around in the playground what were you dreaming of being when you left school Jenny I, I think I probably I, I can't remember as far back as primary school it's an awfully long time ago um, but I definitely wanted to be a vet oh wow yeah, wow. I'm a big animal lover and um, I wanted to be a vet but we moved to Cornwall uh, about halfway through my uh, through the curriculum for my O levels, you remember O levels? I, GCSEs, I, 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 is I, I everyone have, else is. I have GCSEs. O levels. <laughs> I have a, where about in Cornwall? Uh, we were down. I, well, we moved, lived uh, just outside Camborne, and then I went to school in Penzance. Penzance. See, I get well, the, the accent comes back when I talk about Cornwall. It does. So <laughs> um, I, I, yeah, I so we moved, and I was Cornwall. halfway through. Did you? Uh, in, in, in in Camborne, I went to uh, Camborne, no. Camborne Tech. Yeah. No. Oh my God. Yeah, oh, wow. small world. Small world. Amazing. I lived in Troon. Right. Okay. Yeah. In the Troon. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think if anybody lived there because it cause we all sort of like congregated um, from from yeah. the whole of the county. It's a huge county oh, well. to get all the all the kids down to Campbell. But yeah, fond memories. Fond memories. <laughs> so, so, you, so you moved down there and then obviously and it was messed, sort of halfway up. through my yeah messed up my my sciences. They had a different curriculum because I don't know if they do the same now, but they used to have two or three different curriculums for especially for things like sciences and they were on a different curriculum and it's halfway through a term and halfway through the school year and yeah so I had to give uh, up my sciences and yeah I ended up being an accountant and running your own business and then yeah. writing software so hey yeah. it, it's our win <laughs> it's it's veterinary's <laughs> loss but our win um, and you did also get your horses so I suppose that's cool yeah good. horses and dogs yeah yeah, yeah they're my fantastic. passion Jenny, you've been an absolute star. Thank you so much Thanks, uh, for coming on. Thank you to everybody for all Thank of you your uh, messages and, and comments and stuff like that. And uh, we will see you next time. Take Cheerio. care. Bye. Here we go. Another podcast in the bag. 
I've been Ashley Leeds. You've been wonderful. Thank you so much for listening. If you want to hear more, then please subscribe and I will see you again another day. You can find me on LinkedIn if you want to catch up. If you fancy being a guest on one of my shows, I do live shows on LinkedIn twice a week, but I also plan to do some real podcasts uh, where we just do audio and probably record it to go on the YouTube channel. And we can talk about absolutely anything in those. So whatever you want to do, get in touch. And thank you for listening. You get out what you put in. Never gonna lose, never gonna win. As long as you're happy, you're always gonna grin. You get out what you put in.